Good day, everybody, and welcome to Grassroots and Vegan. So, I'm rejecting raw foodism. Why? Well, let me put it this way. Um, yesterday, I went out to see my grandchildren and uh, my son and my daughter-in-law, and the day was progressing, and it was getting around dinner time, and my son was making a beautiful homemade spaghetti sauce with locally grown tomatoes. They were planning on having pasta that night, and I declined from eating there because I was doing this 100% raw uh, food challenge for three months, and I didn't want to break that. So I went home, and um, by the time I got home, it was getting kind of late. It was a Sunday evening. Most of the stores were closed, and I realized that I had not done any shopping that weekend because I was out riding my new bike. And um, yeah, so I was in a pinch. I had no food. I was hungry. I could have, now, there were places I could have gone out of my way to get some fresh fruits, maybe fresh fruits, I'm not sure if I would have got them fresh, but I didn't really feel like doing that either. And then I started thinking, what am, what am I doing here? I, I, I declined eating with my family because of the stupid raw food commitment that I made for three months, and now here I am, I'm home alone with nothing to eat. I said, screw this, man. I, I, this is nuts. I, I don't want to do this anymore. This sucks. So I walked across the street. I picked up a couple of um, orders of steamed rice, and I ate that, and I felt great. So how did I feel in the morning after eating a cooked meal? And, you know, for the first one in seven days, well, I felt wonderful. I woke up, I had a good night's sleep, I woke up refreshed, I went out for a nice long run, and then later on in the afternoon, I went out for a nice long bike ride. So, um, yeah, and it's just like, why am I doing this 100% raw for the next three months when what I was doing before seemed to work just fine? So that's it. Um, and I guess a part of it was, you know, what I the whole point of doing this three month deal was I wanted to document what I was doing on YouTube and show the viewers what takes place when you're doing 100% raw. But um, I'm sorry, guys, the lifestyle is just too restrictive. I don't like it. Um, and if there is whatever health benefits there are, um, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Um, and I was already eating healthy before, doing mostly raw with cooked food, and it worked fine for me. So why change something that works? Now, I have a question to ask you guys. Is 100% uh, is raw suitable for you? Now, think about this. Um, let's deal with the social side of it. Are you finding it difficult to participate in social events with family and friends. That's one area that I have a problem with uh, eating 100% raw. Now again, oh yeah, you can eat salad, you can eat lettuce, you can eat cucumbers, you can eat bananas or whatever, but you're really not a part of the group. It's, um, and, 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 and that's important. Having a social life is important. You don't want to isolate yourself. If you're not socially interactive, if you find yourself being isolated by your dietary choice, that long term will not be healthy for you, guaranteed. Um, the financial side of it, are you buying your fruit on credit? If that's the case, that is definitely not healthy because you are going to create financial stress for yourself down the road. That is a dead end. So if you're finding yourself having to use your credit card to maintain your diet, that's not healthy. Um, emotional. Are you finding it stressful or are you obsessed with eating pure? And that's, you know, um, which I find when you're doing 100% raw, you're always having to think of way you know you've got to make sure you've got enough fruits and vegetables in the house. You and when you're when you're in a social situation, you suddenly get stressed out because um, you you know you, are there you're, you're worried about having food that's going to be suitable for you. If 
if you're if these three areas the social the financial and the emotional are pr problematic for you doing 100% raw then I would say doing 100% raw is not suitable for you and you know what you don't have to do it I I'm at, I've reached a decision that, um, in the last basically the last 24 hours I've decided that I am more or less disassociating myself with the 100% raw food movement um, because I don't believe in the ideology. Um, I find it way too restrictive and I find the people that are firm believers in it are very fundamentalist and uh, one-sided and narrow-minded and I don't want to be a part of that group. So, um, if I've offended anybody buddy out there, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I do respect your decision if you, if you are an adamant believer of 100% raw. So, um, that's it for me. So where do, I go, where do I go from here? Well, I'm basically just going back to what I was doing before, and that is living a vegan lifestyle eating low fat, high carbohydrate, which includes a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables and cooked food and eating healthy and living healthy. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to promote. And that's it. If you have any comments, leave them be down below. I, I really do appreciate your comments, even the ones that are, uh, not in line with my thinking. In fact, I find those some, sometimes to be the most enjoyable and, and the most challenging. So um, I do encourage comments. And, um, and if there's questions, I will respond uh, or I'll try to respond. Um, subscribe to this channel and uh, share it. Take care and have a nice night.